YouTube. What's up? I'm here at SNS Barbell, a uh, brand new gym opened up in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, New York. It's a 24 7 powerlifting gym, and I'm here with Jordan Burke, owner of the SNS Barbell. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to oh, Meg Squats. <laughs> Um, yeah, so uh, I got started powerlifting about nine, eight, nine years ago back at Florida State. So in high school, um, I lifted a lot, I lifted heavy weights, um, and somebody told me once I should compete, so I looked up uh, competitions in the area. This is before USAPL had a lot of local presence. And in Florida, we have a, 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 a state chair named Robert Keller. I don't know if you know Robert Keller, he doesn't know Jersey Beans as well. Oh, okay. um, yes. But, He's very active, and, and back then, even with him, there wasn't a lot of stuff going on. And so, in high school, I couldn't, I couldn't really compete. So when I went to college, um, I wanted to put something together. So I put together the FSU weightlifting club. Um, there wasn't a club there before, um, so there was no kind of, there was no place to do heavy lifting. Our, our uh, school gym kind of sucked for that stuff. Um, and so we put a club together. Um, we had like a gym in a classroom. Dr. Mike Zordos, Dr. Mike Zordos. Um, he's a professor at FAU. He started at Florida State. He was our coach. It was a great setup. Um, we all learned a ton from him. And so that's kind of how I got started. Um, and then after that, I uh, graduated from FSU um, that summer. I believe it was that summer. I, uh, I won my first national championship was as a junior at 74 kilo. Um, then the next year, I won my first open, well, my only open gym, national championship was a 74 kilo. That was in 2013. I uh, went to South Africa in 2014 for Worlds. Wow. And then bumped up to 83, um, posted a decent total, and we will meet, now he's trying to, trying to get a national title. Well, okay. it's John Hatton. Yeah. What is your goal now? Your goal your next meet is going to be, what are you looking towards for, for Worlds? Um, yeah, so, Worlds is definitely off in the distance right now, but um, just trying to, trying to get a good total together. Um, I, uh, between this and squats and science, uh, it's been kind of tough. Priorities have been a little bit But now that I, you know, I'm in a 24 hour gym, 12 hours a day, I have no excuse. So I yeah. can push it all back up, gain some weight again, and maybe uh, a 1600 plus total. Uh, okay. You know, I have to ask that. What is your goal and what is your best meat total? So, um, my best meet total was in June of last year. It was a 1582, uh, which was a little bit 480-something. Um, and, uh, and that was, I went to 181, which, um, and I looked a little bit on the platform. Um, uh, my best gym total was about 1600, but uh, my best deadlift was in 622. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I, I, think, I think I can get like mid-16s uh, if I put it in a decent, uh, decent training. Definitely. With a beer like that, it's easily 1600 plus. Right. <laughs> well, it's been inversely proportional. That's just grown my total strength lately, but maybe I'll continue that. If anyone knows Jordan Burke, I think one of the biggest things he's known for is being the founder of Squats and Science um, and also the innovator of Open Barbell. Um, what, tell us a little bit more about what that's all about. What is Open Barbell? What are your plans for that as well? Yeah, so. Uh, Kind of back and forth squats and science was a thing. I was taking around, um, I was like making stuff. Um, my background is in engineering, um, chemical, electrical engineering. 
So um, I saw people doing velocity-based training. Uh, the research said it's really good stuff, but I just couldn't do it. I wasn't going to spend two grand on a device uh, to do it myself, so I made one. Um, and when I was making it, I said, you know, how cool would it be if I was to make this as well? So I just put all the stuff online, people started making it, there was some interest in, uh, you know, also uh, buying assembly units. But the first iteration that I made was really complicated, a ton of different parts, it wasn't really meant for me to make it bulk. So me and a good friend of mine, both uh, before the state, um, we decided to kind of roll out and make a bulk. Um, so right around when we made the decision, we got an email from Chris Duffin, and um, Chris Duffin basically out of the blue said, uh, we saw a normal, this is one of the four we considered, uh, before we really put a plan together for this, and he said, uh, I'm a 50th. And so my business partner, John and I, sat down and we said, all right, I'm going to do this. And he said, let's go, let's do it. We called Duffin, we said, we got it, we gave us three months, put it together, made 100 units, and um, sold out a lot of units. For those who don't know about velocity-based training and what it's all about, would you be able to give, give the audience like a quick cliff notes version of too long to read version of um, sure. what it's used for and what benefits come from? Um, yeah, so, so velocity-based training is kind of a form of auto-regulation. If you use a bit more of an scale of right, rate of receiving exertion, so that scale will be subjective measure to regulate on a daily basis on what you're trading with. It's great uh, for people who have a lot of um, variation in received exertion. Um, it's not so great for people who aren't very good at judging their own. Um, so uh, that's where velocity based training comes in. Can help those people with an objective measure, right? A measure that um, doesn't depend on you being good at guessing your own thing. Or sometimes uh, your receiving exertion isn't the most optimal way to change your training. Let's say you're sick, right? Yeah. And everything feels like crap, but the velocities are moving. Well, if you weren't losing an open bar, though, then you could say to yourself, you're crap, you're away. But the velocity doesn't lie, the velocity is telling you to go up. So I'm actually sick right now, and I hit um, two days ago some really good numbers on squat for where my training is right now. I probably wouldn't have done that if it wasn't for the velocity training. So that, that's kind of one aspect. Um, velocity training enables some other cool stuff. Like, for example, um, you can use it to forecast one arm with like, startling accuracy. Um, it's, it's the most accurate one arm um, model that you can find right now. Um, I believe Ben Escro has a YouTube video right now describing uh, how to do it with uh, percent accuracy, and, uh, which is really cool. And so stuff like that. Um, you can like build RPE, velocity charts, and, uh, and you can use that to kind of There's a bunch of different tools. Uh, uh, I'm about open more about talking a little bit about squad science. Uh, just building that one prompt for you to discuss. Um, so, there was um, kind of like a, a talk me and a few friends had um, a couple of years ago. And we said, um, you know, I'm doing this stuff with these devices. Um, a good friend of mine was opening these really cool gyms. And uh, you know, another friend of mine, Harry, you know Harry? Yeah, I know. Um, he's a junior, so junior room team coach this year. We've been doing this life for a while. He's, you know, one of the best people in the world, which is true. And so we kind of sat down and we said, let's do something with this. Yeah, let's kind of do something pull together and kind of, you know, our, our skills. So that's how we did squats and science. Um, and so we kind of put it under one umbrella, we were all working together some of the others. Um, the devices started working and went to New York um, to do more uh, barbells at Kickstarter. Um, and then when I came up here about a year ago, um, I had a really hard time finding a good gym. Uh, there are a lot of good gyms in New York, but what I'm used to is 24 hours. Uh, that's what Chris, who is you know, the business partner in this gym, uh, and they were doing squats and science members. That's what he does. He builds 24 hour um, gyms. So when I came up here, um, I joined a gym for the South. I saw coaching at CrossFit, the power of thing in my knee, and I'm all marble with the paint bills. Um, and, uh, and then the opportunity came up when uh, my good friends at CrossFit Alpha. Uh, sort of like the third gym. They saw this space, they said there's two rooms, 
Yeah. 